There are three of you. There's the person you think you are. There's the person others think you are. There is the person God knows you are and can be through Christ. We should ask ourselves three questions before we speak. Is it true? Is it kind? Does it glorify Christ? Christ not only died for all, he died for each. I am convinced the greatest act of love we can ever perform for people is to tell them about God's love for them in Christ. God undertook the most dramatic rescue operation in cosmic history. He determined to save the human race from self-destruction and he sent his son Jesus Christ to salvage and redeem them. The work of man's redemption was accomplished at the cross. When God gets ready to shake America, he may not take the PhD and the DD. God may choose a country boy. God may choose the man that no one knows, a little nobody, to shake America for Jesus Christ in this day, and I pray that he would. When we come to Christ, we're no longer the most important person in the world to us, Christ is. Instead of living only for ourselves, we have a higher goal to live for Jesus. The very purpose of Christ's coming into the world was that he might offer up his life as a sacrifice for the sins of men. He came to die. This is the heart of Christmas. My hope does not rest in the affairs of this world. It rests in Christ who is coming again. Be assured that there is no sin you have ever committed that the blood of Jesus Christ cannot cleanse. God proved his love on the cross. When Christ hung and bled and died, it was God saying to the world, I love you. In some ways, Christians are homeless. Our true home is waiting for us, prepared by the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was not a white man, he was not a black man. He came from that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. Christianity is not a white man's religion, and don't let anybody ever tell you that it's white or black. Christ belongs to all people. He belongs to the whole world. Sin was conquered on the cross. Christ's death is the foundation of our hope, the promise of our triumph. 